After years, we finally have an update on Jake Lloyd. Yes, after a while of Jake Lloyd being in the shadows, not really interacting with the internet, staying away from the Star Wars community, we finally have an update on his well-being and his battle with his mental health. Now, this comes from an article from Deadline, Lloyd's mother, where she shed some light on his current situation and even some of the hate that Jake Lloyd received during his time as a child actor on The Phantom Menace. Now, this interview, very fittingly, comes around the time of the anniversary of The Phantom Menace, and we're going to get into that article right now. The link for credit is going to be down in the description below. Make sure you check it out for yourself. We're going to get into a read-through right now. Here we go. Mother of Star Wars child actor Jake Lloyd shares update on his health and what led him to quit acting after The Phantom Menace. Jake Lloyd played Anakin Skywalker in 1999's Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, and left the limelight shortly after the film's release. In a new interview, Lloyd's mother, Lisa Lloyd, updated the public on her son and dispelled rumors that had plagued the Star Wars community for many years. Lisa talked to Scripps News and said her son was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia in 2008 after struggling and talking about living in different realities, seeing people with quote-unquote black eyes, and mentioning having conversations with The Daily Show host John Stewart. On top of that, Jake seemed to have a neurological condition called anosinosia, which causes a patient to be in denial about their symptoms. Quote, he didn't think he needed to take medication because he wasn't sick, Lisa said. Quote, he didn't think he needed to go to the therapist because there's nothing wrong with him. In 2015, Jake got in trouble with the law, leading deputies in a pursuit across multiple counties that ended in a crash. Lisa hired an attorney to try and get her son out of jail and checked into a medical facility as he was off his medications. However, Lisa was told the hospital was out of beds and Jake spent 10 months in jail. In 2018, Jake's sister, who appeared as an extra in The Phantom Menace, died of natural causes, which aggravated his condition. Lisa said that in March 2023, Jake suffered a full-blown psychotic break when he asked her to stop her car in the middle of the street. Jake was then admitted to a mental health rehabilitation facility where he has shown improvement over the last 10 months he's been there. Things are so much better that Jake can now watch movies, having watched Wonka recently. Quote, that was one of the things that we wouldn't do when he was off his medication, was watch movies. He just didn't have the attention span for it, Lisa said. Lisa also mentioned that Jake is a huge Star Wars fan and recently watched the Disney Plus series Ahsoka. The former child actor received an action figure for the show's star for his birthday. Quote, he loves all the new Star Wars stuff, she says. People think Jake hates Star Wars. He loves it. Lisa also dispelled the misconception that what led to Jake's mental illness was the backlash The Phantom Menace received when it was released. It would have happened anyway, Lisa said. Nothing the medical history of schizophrenia on Jake's father's side of the family. It would have happened anyway, Lisa said, noting the medical history of schizophrenia on Jake's father's side of the family. I believe that it was genetic, and his psychiatrist also agrees that Jake was going to become schizophrenic. She continued, I protected him from the backlash. He was just riding his bike outside, playing with his friends. He didn't know. He didn't care. Everybody makes such a big deal about that. And it's rather annoying to me because Jake was a little kid when that came out, and he didn't really feel all that stuff because I didn't let him online. Lisa also clarified that Jake didn't quit acting due to Star Wars as it, quote, had to do with our family, and we were going through divorce. Although Lisa doesn't see Jake returning to the Star Wars universe, she does recall he loved filming Star Wars. He had so much fun. Before The Phantom Menace, Jake had starred in films like Jingle All the Way alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger and Apollo 11. On television, Jake appears in episodes of ER and The Pretender. His last film credit was in 2001's Madison. So there you go. There is a current day update on Jake Lloyd. Now, there's a lot of things I want to get into about this interview that really reveal a lot of things that we didn't know. First, I think it's absolutely crazy and mind-blowing and hurts me a lot to know that, and this is from his mother, so there's no speculation to be had about this that Jake didn't leave acting due to the hate. And from what it sounds like, he didn't even really know about the hate. He wasn't necessarily conscious and there for it. Which, while it's very sad that he had to leave acting, and of course under the conditions that he had to leave acting for, it's good to know that all these years that we thought Jake got bullied away from Star Wars and that drove him into his mental issues, that that's not the case. And that is very good to hear. That is a great motherly thing for her to do, seeing that hate that he was receiving and making sure that he was shielded from it. Because as all this time we've thought that 
that's what's led to Jake's issues. That's not the case, but I can only imagine how much more that would have hurt him and what he was going through if he was aware of that. So props to Lisa Lloyd for really shielding young Jake Lloyd from that because that could have been catastrophic and no one, regardless of age, gender, race, deserves the hate that a lot of these Star Wars characters get, especially when you're a young child actor. So I'm very glad to hear that Jake was not aware of the hate that his character received. Another thing that Lisa let us know are a lot of their family struggles that were going on during this period of time. A divorce, a death of a sister at a very young age. All these things are very, very sad and very heartbreaking to hear that this happened to their family. And now this is a tragedy for anybody, but Jake with his, you know, runs in the family, schizophrenia, and other mental issues, this definitely, these events definitely had some cause in pushing him to that edge, which is very unfortunate, and I can relate to this on a multitude of levels. You know, I've, I've been through a divorce in the family. I've had very close people to me pass away, and the pain is horrible, and it takes a long time to get over, but in Jake's situation, it's not as easy as that, and it seemed to really make his condition worse that from his mother's standpoint was inevitable, unfortunately. And about the schizophrenia and other mental health issues, I also have been very close to somebody who was diagnosed with schizophrenia. I had a family member who is currently seeking help for it, and it is not, it's not pretty. It's, it's very heartbreaking, especially when a person can't do anything about it, and they really believe these things that they're seeing, or the things in their head are telling them. So from Jake seeing, like, talking to people, talking to that show host, seeing people with black eyes. Um, and I, I don't even know what age this started for him. So if he was going through this as a young kid, even teen to young adult, that that's just a horrible situation to be in. I've seen the effects that schizophrenia can have on people, the voices in their head telling them what to do, the people that they think they're talking to. It's It's very heartbreaking and it's when it happens to somebody at such a young age and they can't do anything about it, it's even worse because it reminds you almost of a elderly person going through a dementia or an Alzheimer's. It's just they're not all there 24-7. And as Jake Lloyd's mother said, you can't do the things that you used to do with the person you love. They couldn't go to the movies. His attention span wasn't there. He was constantly on and off his medication. And the, man... Just what she's painting this picture as, it sounds like a very, very heartbreaking cycle that Jake Lloyd and their family have been through. But moving past that, on the bright side, for 10 months now, it sounds like he has been in rehab and is getting and seeking active help for his issues. She even shared a picture of them, as you will see on this thumbnail, that it was really heartwarming to see before reading the article, and it meant so much more seeing it after reading the article and knowing the hell that Jake Lloyd and his family have been through regarding his issues. And I'm glad to hear that she was able to visit him and he's been doing well. And I really hope he continues on this path. Now, depending on severity of situation, this might be something that he has to deal with forever. But hopefully this is something that Jake is able to beat and conquer. And, you know, maybe worst case scenario, it comes around every now and then and he has to you know, treat it as it comes and necessary as it may be. But until then, like I said, uh, man, I just hope he continues to heal. I hope him and his family take the necessary steps to making sure that happens. It sounds like they're on a great path already. 10 months of upward looking rehab is nothing to scoff at, especially with a situation as severe as this. Now, another really cool key note about this, very positive, is that Jake does not hate Star Wars. I mean, I never really thought that he did. I never really bought into those rumors that, oh, Jake Lloyd hates Star Wars because everybody hated him. Like, you know, it, sure, it's possible, but I really wanted to believe that he still had some love for Star Wars in him, especially as the hate of, you know, the Phantom Menace dissolved, and now we're seeing so much more love for the prequels. I would have hoped he at least came back around to it if he did, in fact, hate it, but it sounds like he never has, and recently he watched the Ahsoka show, which is awesome, knowing that uh, his Padawan, really, I mean, that's crazy, that's Anakin Skywalker right there, that's his Padawan, and it's not like he enjoyed that show, and of course, in this picture, you see uh, he's got his sick Ahsoka Black Series figure, uh, that's, 
I don't know. That's awesome. That's really all I have to say about that. That's very heartwarming to see that picture. He looks very happy. He looks very good and in good health and with a supportive mother by his side. This might be a long shot, but Lisa Lloyd, if you do stumble across this video, uh, keep doing what you're doing. It really sounds like you are supporting Jake wholeheartedly and you have been from the start. Shielding him from all the online hate and letting him just be a kid was probably one of the smartest decisions you could have ever made uh, as a mother. And I think we all appreciate that and very much respect you for that. And if you're able to, respectfully let Jake know that all of us love him. We admire him, we loved his work on Star Wars, and we hope he continues his path to recovery and continues to be able to get back to a normal way of life. He definitely did not receive any of the hate he received, and someday, if possible, I'm sure me and thousands, if not millions of others, would love the chance to meet him at a convention, get a signature, take a picture, because whether he knows it or not, he played a huge part in our childhood. It was great seeing a young Anakin Skywalker as a young boy being a young boy watching those movies and having someone to look up to as a almost peer in a different universe doing Anakin Skywalker things. So yeah, thank you for sharing this update. All blessings to you and your family and Jake, of course. Keep doing what you're doing. And guys, that is all I have for this video. I just wanted to share this update with you if you hadn't heard it already and kind of give my take on it. Again, very positive. I'm glad Jake is doing good and I hope he can someday be well enough to come to a convention, come to a signing, even if he has to have certain restrictions due to his condition. He wholeheartedly deserves the Hayden Christensen treatment and I think that is very possible. You know, of course, if his family and his issues permit it. But with that said, I want you guys to leave your comments down below. Are you happy to hear this news as much as I am? But with that said, I want you guys to leave your comments down below. Let's have a discussion about this. Also, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.